the end of the news of the world, the paper at the heart of the phone hacking scandal is to close. Britain's best-selling newspaper will publish its final edition on Sunday, its reputation destroyed. This is the ITV News at 6.30 with Alastair Stewart and Andrea Benfield. Now published here, it's been on the newsstands for nearly 170 years. But the toxic claims this week that it hacked into the phone of murdered schoolgirl Millie Dowler and into the messages of the parents of the Soham murder victims have engulfed it. The Dowler family lawyer joins me with his reaction. And today, the Royal British Legion ended its partnership with the paper after claims it targeted the bereaved families of servicemen and women killed in Afghanistan and Iraq. You walk this fast all the time. Anyway, I'm running away from you guys. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch sacrificed the paper, but not his embattled chief executive, Rebecca Brooks. Also tonight, an appeal for help for the hungry suffering in the Horn of Africa in the world's largest refugee center. Good evening from Wapping, where stunned staff were told a short time ago that the news of the world is being axed. News International Chairman James Murdoch pulled the plug as yet more damning allegations surfaced. He said the paper's proud history had been sullied by what he called inhuman behaviour. The announcement came at the end of another day of fast-moving developments. The police chief leading the criminal inquiry into the scandal said they were investigating up to 4,000 potential victims. Military families were the latest to say they feared their phones may have been targeted. And the independent police watchdog, the IPCC, has taken over the investigation into claims Met police officers took payments from the news of the world. The latest on all of that in a moment, but first Paul Davis on the end of the news of the world. <laughs>